Hi everybody, this is Nathan at Rain Networks, and today we're going to go through how to adjust the settings uh, in the ESET email client protection module within Endpoint Security so that we can dictate how we want ESET uh, to handle messages that it scans. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to create a policy. So we do this by going to Policies over on the left side of Security Management Center. We're going to go ahead and make a new policy down here at the beginning or down at the bottom rather, and we are going to go through how to make policy settings here. So we're going to just call this email protection settings just for the sake of giving it a name. I'm going to hit continue to get to the next stage in the wizard here. And now it asks us what product we want to make a policy settings change for. So we're going to do this for a Windows machine. So I'm going to select endpoint for Windows. And it's going to bring up the uh, uh, policy configurator uh, for the ESET endpoint for Windows. If you've ever opened the client on a Windows machine, this probably looks very familiar to you because this is exactly what the client looks like when it's installed in the computer. We're going to go down here under web and email and then the email client protection section. Okay, there's a few sections here in here. Let me just uh, close all of these up. So you can see that there's six different sections, each with some different settings changes here. So the first one talks a little bit about how ESET's going to integrate into your mail client. Um, so if you do or don't want Outlook uh, can, uh, integration, you can move this slider here. Uh, action to be performed on infected email. You can change those settings here. Uh, email protocols, this is just saying, you know, what protocols do you want ESET to uh, scan in case you have some kind of unique port or something like that that you use with your email service. Um, as we move down here, threat sense parameters just talks a little bit about what we want ESET to scan or not scan. Okay. Alerts and notifications. This uh, really deals with uh, ESET will tag the bottom of messages that it scans. You've probably seen this with other email solutions. And so you can kind of change uh, if you, some people don't like those tags just from a visual perspective, they don't like them. So you can turn them on or off here. And then the, the last two really get into anti-spam protection and how you want ESET to uh, tag spam messages or, or things like that, or maybe you don't want them tagged or moving messages around. And the bottom one is where you would make, like, say, whitelist entries. So, like, let's say you wanted to have a whitelist entry, you would have allow global address list, and then click on the edit button next to either the whitelist or the blacklist, depending on what you want to make here. Let's say I wanted to accept all emails from ESET. So I would say at ESET.com, and in the name here, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, just give it a tag. So this is ESET. And then let's say I want the whole domain. So basically anybody that emails me from ESET, I want to make sure that their emails are whitelisted. I would go ahead and slide that slider bo uh, button like that. I would click OK. I would hit Save. And now I have whitelisted ESET. Now the same uh, procedure would um, uh, be the same for blacklisting as well. OK. From here, if you hit continue, now we can assign our policy. So we can click the assign button and we can assign this policy to either uh, a single machine, uh, multiple machines. Uh, we could select multiple machines like that. We could put it on a folder. So if we said every machine inside this folder, we want this policy. Um, so wherever you want to assign it, go like that. And then once we hit finish, now the policy will push out to the machine. Uh, it usually takes, you know, 20 plus minutes or so, but it'll get out there to the machine. And these, uh, these settings will uh, permeate to the computers that you want to have these settings. So I hope that helps. Anyways, it's a really easy way to make settings changes. And then of course, after I hit finish here, I now have this policy and any computer uh, that uh, if I ever wanted to edit this, I can just come back here, hit the gear to the right of the policy, click edit, and I can just edit my existing policy. All right, hope that helps and uh, throw down uh, any questions you have down in the comments section uh, in the YouTube video. Thanks a lot and have a great day.